I didn't see you, Chief. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, also recently installed this year and homegrown, home-raised right here in Oxnard, our newest police chief, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Chief. chief. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. I got tongue-tied. Uh, you know what happens to the best of us. Big pardon? Thank you very much, Dan. Why don't you take a bow, Dan? Our public works director. Thanks very, very much. I appreciate it. That's not bad when you're not working from a list, you know. <laughs> and now that I've uh, introduced you to some of our dignitaries, I'd like to introduce you to a lady that um, can speak to what we're doing here tonight probably as good as anybody. She's been uh, with uh, the Friends of Heritage Square this entire time was here back then. Ladies and gentlemen, please a round of applause to Flora B. Flora, come on up and say hello. Oh, uh, Heather is important, but uh, you have uh, some words that I think you can share with us here about what went on back then and what does it mean today, what we're doing here. The beginning, uh, I came in, uh, I saw an ad in the paper, they needed docents, and it was in 1996, I believe, and uh, so I called, and Gary says, yeah, you can come down, because that's how I started. From the, and uh, we had um, no, um, no president, no association or anything. It was just, we had two sisters that had started with the square, were doing all the, uh, uh, the tours. And they would come down just to, they could do a tour in 15 minutes. Because <laughs> they didn't go into any houses, they just went around. So it, it was just great then when we started our organization and uh, had, uh, we had board members, we had members that wanted to work. We were down to uh, no money in 2001 after the 2000, uh, uh, the uh, towers crash. Uh, but then uh, we all took on jobs ourselves, every board member, every member, I should say, because we only had about 30 some members at the time, and we probably don't have any more than that right now. So that's where we progressed, and uh, we're just coming along. T tell me one more thing. What does this uh, mean to you uh, personally? Uh, I love the square. I had a gentleman, personally, uh, we did, uh, when we have tours, uh, they came in from that side gate. They were coming from Santa Barbara, the recreation department, and they came in and we stood there and did like New Orleans. We clapped for them and sang to them. And they said, oh, this is really nice for Oxnard. <laughs> I said, I love Oxnard, you know. So that's what it really means to me. I love the square. Well, God bless you. Thank you very much. I appreciate everything you've done for us for the past 25 years. Ladies and gentlemen, Flora B. You know, I love Oxnard too. Ever since I came here, I fell in love with Oxnard and, and I just uh, jumped right in and uh, with both feet, both hands, and I, I've been just uh, trying to do everything I can to support and help. And I gotta tell you, with, uh, with people uh, helping me all along and encouraging me to be uh, part of it and, and participating, uh, I have to give uh, kudos to my colleague, uh, Gary Blum, who has always been there for me. And I hope I've been there for him. And he greeted me. Um, he, he asked me not to call him up, but that, that's because he's just shy, you know? <laughs> but, but within that shyness of his, I got to tell you that uh, there's very few people that I can uh, pinpoint that can, over the last 25 years, you can say has been there year after year, month after month, to support the organizations here in downtown Heritage Square. Uh, part of the, um, the original uh, downtown improvement district, uh, uh, always part of the marketing committee of that district, and just so many things. And this year he's taken on 10 different things and it, the pressure has been tough, but he's still putting it together. And thank you so much, Gary, for all that you do for us. Gary. Indeed. Hey, Pablo. Yes, sir. I'd like to say something about the volunteers. Absolutely, come on over here. I know you did. I, I really I am sorry that I forgot to mention the volunteers that 
really make this place the way it is. Obviously, structures um, can't speak. They can't tell the stories that these volunteers that have been here tirelessly, um, you know, for free, not working for income, donating, giving back to the city. I think it's so remarkable what they've done. So let's give them a round of applause. Can we please? Thank you. I'm so appreciative of your work and your efforts and I hope that the City Council um, too when it comes to the future about what we do here at this um, beautiful square that we can continue supporting Heritage Square every single way we can. Um, although I know it's a nonprofit and, and you know I understand this budgeting thing is very difficult but we want to support the volunteers as much as we can and we really appreciate all of your hard work. Thank you. And Michael Cabasis, the world's best photographer. We forgot to men mention him. Let's give him a round of applause, Kevin. Hey, man, he's always there, capturing uh, probably items for the next time capsule. Yeah, as a matter of fact, now that I'm speaking of that, I can say that uh, I think that that's part of the plan, right? Uh, to do the second segment uh, to complete a 50-year cycle. So uh, maybe some of your photographs can go in there. That would be kind of cool. Well, that, that may be true, but the, at least we'll have, we, we will have captured this moment and some, maybe that would be a great photo, some of the shots that you're taking here tonight at the unveiling of the first 25 years. I definitely want to thank, ladies and gentlemen, uh, their, their involvement with this because of, um, without the city of Oxnard, we wouldn't be here. Uh, the, the, you know, they had this, this was their land, this was originally uh, all their domain. Little by little it's been uh, parceled out, if you will, that's the correct terminology. But the city of Oxnard continues to be a big part of this and I want to thank them for everything they've done to continue to support this beautiful, beautiful cultural uh, icon that we have here, Heritage Square. And in addition to that, uh, I will say that our Heritage Square property owners are also very key because over the years they are the ones that have come in and invested and bought some of the properties, maintained them, helped support the whole and so I want to give a round of applause to the City of Oxnard and our property owners. Yay. And I think that uh, it would be appropriate at this time to ask someone that that 25 years ago was part of the marketing team at an advertising advertising agency named Revelations Advertising back with an old friend of mine Ruth uh, uh, Bernstein Ballin that uh, is uh, oh gosh she was so a big part of my life with the salsa festival and uh, also with a, two or three other ladies that were part of that team and one of those ladies is here with us tonight and I'd like her to share some of her impressions from back then and what it might mean to her today. And, and she's here, and so it has to mean something. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome uh, up to the microphone, Linda Silvestri, formerly of Revelations Advertising. Thank you, Linda. Hi, this, this won't be very long because um, actually I, I only heard about this about an hour before it started and uh, my, my husband and I heard about it and we got very excited because 25 years ago, uh, we were a big, yeah, I wouldn't say a big part, but we were a part of this vision. I mean, I remember it being a concept. I remember it being a concept, and um, it seemed like a crazy concept, too, you know? Just like, really? You're gonna be, like, moving houses? I mean, I remember seeing houses, some of these houses being driven down the street, and it was, it was nutty. And um, so anyway, I worked for Revelations Advertising. <clears throat> we did a lot of the marketing for, you know, the events that led up to it and afterwards. And I just remember, the one thing I remember is this gal that we hired to do the paintings. I don't remember her name, Gary remembers her name. <laughs> but, um, you know, the, the houses were just like in all different forms of disrepair and uh, you know there was all these plans for the colors and what they were going to look like and this woman painted them you can see them in the church they um, she did a beautiful job and and they look exactly like those pictures so it's amazing anyway 
Um, I'm really excited, and I, it, it's wonderful to see how much it means to all of you guys, and, and 25 years later, how this is such a, a wonderful, meaningful thing to the city, and um, I'm, that's all. <laughs> Appreciate it very much, Linda Silvestri. I um, I know that uh, we have other people, Tom, Kay, Heather, that are so. I mean, Heather, where are you, Heather? Come up here, Heather. Heather is the current uh, president of the Friends of Heritage Square. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for Heather Barons? All right, I, I'm not really the president, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm their, I'm their coordinator, you? yes. What are you? I am their coordinator. Okay, that's good, like president But, to me. but I'm, it is, it's good enough to be president. I, I would love to have that title someday. <laughs>